welcome to the channel the practical study guys today we are going to learn that how we can calculate voltage drop for an electrical system or for an electrical device for example if you are going to install a motor to a certain distance or electrical equipment equipment to a certain distance or now now we uh, you need to know that uh, which size of cable should be suited for this equipment uh, or motor to certain distance then you must have to calculate first the voltage drop that how much voltage will be dropped to a certain distance for a certain device also voltage, uh, voltage drop is also very necessary in order to avoid following effects your system efficiency also depends on the proper voltage, your system performance and your equipment life also depends that there should be proper voltage for an electrical device or system. If there will be high voltage, then it will also affect your equipment life or if there is low voltage, then it will also affect your equipment life. Now how to calculate the voltage drop? It's very simple. If you have a system or device uh, or a motor or anything uh, of electrical of single phase, then th there are two formulas. One is for single phase and one is for three phase. For single phase, voltage drop, as you can see that, is equal to 2 multiplied by constant factor K multiplied by I multiplied by L divided by CMIL. CMIL is circular mill. We will discuss about it. For three phase system, voltage drop is equal to 1.732 multiplied by K multiplied by I multiplied by L divided by CMIL, where K is electrical resistivity of the type of conductor being used. For example, if you are using the copper conductor, then its value will be 12.9 ohms CMIL per feet, or if you are using the aluminium conductor, then its value will be 21.2 ohms circular mill per feet. Now what is circular mill? Circular mills is basically the wire diameter in decimal inches multiplied by 1000 and then its square. In this way you can easily calculate the circular mill. And I is the current or amperes of load. And L is equal to length of conductor in feet. Uh, I mean length of conductor means that how much distance is from your power source to your electrical device. Now consider a practical example for a single phase motor. For example, the distance between source to motor is 250 feet while gauge which we are using is 10 8 American wire gauge standard maximum current that is required is 24 ampere conductor that we are using is copper its constant value is this for as we know that for single phase voltage drop is equal to 2 multiplied by K multiplied by I multiplied by L divided by circular mill so first we need to calculate the circular mill circular mill is equal to diameter multiplied by 1000 and its square so in this way we get the value of circular mill but the diameter of 10 American wire gauge cable in decimal inches first you have to find this is equal to T is equal to 0 0.1018 many charts are available on Google you can easily uh, easily find out uh, the diameter of cable against the American wire gauge now putting all the values in this formula we get 2 multiplied by 12.9 that is value of k multiplied by current 24 multiplied by length what is the length the distance between the power source and the device or the in this case the motor is 250 feet divided by circular mill so 14.9 voltage will be dropped in this case so for a single phase as we know that the voltage should be between 220 to 230 that means that we have a 230 voltage 
more than 230 voltage uh, at the power source or another uh, another method of uh, uh, reducing the voltage drop is to increase the wire gauge in this way you can drop your uh, you can control your voltage drop let's consider sorry let's consider a practical example for three phase water same is current is equal to 100 ampere length is equal to 80 feet wire gauge is one American wire cage. Conductor is aluminium and its K value is 21.2 ohms circle mill per feet. Now, as we know that the voltage drop formula for three phase motor is equal to this. Now, putting now first calculating the CMIL, the diameter of one American wire cage in decimal inches. This uh, 0.2892 inch, inches. This value we have get from Google charts. Very many charts are available on Google, or also the different brands uh, of uh, cables have their own chart. So after getting the circular mill uh, value, putting all values in voltage drop, we get 3.51 voltage drop. So if your power source has 400 voltage then uh, as you know that for three phase uh, uh, we uh, we need the voltage from 380 to 420 or sometimes 440 depends upon the manufacturer data of the motor or device so if there is a voltage drop of 3.51 that that is very much minor if our power source is at 400 volt then uh, to the motor we will get um, more than 390 voltage so it will be quite enough so this was a very simple method for calculating voltage drop and this is uh, very necessary for our system so I hope guys you like this video and if you like this video then it's my request to subscribe my channel and share your comments and feedback thank you very much